so here I am with kale. <laughs> um, so many people don't know um, what to do with kale. Kale is a superfood. It has tons of minerals and protein and all kinds of good things for you. But most people just kind of look at it and um, up until about five years ago, I kind of just used it as a decoration in the fall <laughs> in my flower pots. So, what I've learned since then is that you can use um, kale in so many ways. Um, so here we go. I don't know if you know, I do have some underactive thyroid issues. So, I tried, uh, at first when I started looking at kale and researching kale and learning how healthy it is, I tried juicing it. I would juice kale and make a nice green smoothie in the morning with um, lettuce and kale and watercress and stuff like that. And after every time I drank, I tried it three times, I felt terrible, like terrible, terrible, terrible. I couldn't function. Um, I didn't know what was going on, so I said, okay, it's got to be something with the juicing. So I researched more about kale. If you have underactive thyroid or any type of thyroid issue, you should not have kale raw, okay? Um, there is, um, these are, so there are kale and Brussels sprouts and things like cabbage and um, bok choy, arugula, watercress, those are all um, vegetables called cruciferous vegetables. And none of those should be consumed raw for a person who has thyroid or Hashimoto's or any type of thy or thyroid issue because it can block and I guess it has some kind of chemical called goitrogen, I think that's how you say it, it's goitrogen, and that's something that will block your thyroid production. I, I didn't know. So that's why I felt terrible after eating raw kale. And I guess it was the watercress as well in it. Anyways, so um, kale does produce something called goitrogen that stops thyroid production. If you have healthy thyroid, go by all means, you can have raw kale, salads, and um, I wouldn't eat them regularly. I'd probably limit them throughout the week. I wouldn't eat raw cruciferous vegetables throughout the week all the time because um, they, they can block all kinds of um, th uh, hormone production horm uh, glands, I guess. So, um, so yes, yeah, so that's why. Um, but anyways, other than that, uh, kale you can eat cooked. Oh, and the beautiful thing about it is I can eat kale as soon as it's either steamed a little bit or it is cooked, um, the goitrogen um, a chemical that's in kale, it becomes inactive. So it, and it then becomes a very healthy vegetable for us, for us thyroid issue people. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I do eat kale and um, I do make sure it is cooked before I eat it. So um, it's totally up to you how you like your kale, but it is super healthy. Um, and that's just what I found about eating raw kale. Uh, let me know how you eat your raw kale. I'll be doing more videos about how to make kale chips, um, kale, all kinds of stuff, kale stir fries. Um, so you can watch for those in the future. And um, I hope that helps with learning why um, you may not feel well after eating a raw kale salad. Um, and let me know um, how you cook your kale, because I love to learn new tips on eating kale because it is so healthy for us. Anyway, so thanks for watching and have a great day.